see that you, it was corrected yesterday. You put the right date format in Excel. Can you share, can you share the, your screen so we can see the file? Can you share your screen, Siska? Yes. And show what is in the share folder? I think it's not yet corrected. I will so put the... Let us, let us see, uh, just for the sake of uh, the training, so people can understand what's going on, OK? OK. To avoid any, any mistake later, OK? So if you can share it, wonderful. So can you open it, the first file? So this one is looks correct, okay? This one is correct. On the left, the dead variable is correct, you see? If you read, you have four observations per year. <coughs> and, and it's okay. It's, the month is one, four, seven, ten. So that's correct, okay? This one is correct, but so it so it's okay, okay. This one is, but this is not the file I, I received. Yeah, the previously is uh, the other file. I think it, I'm not missing. This one, right? Uh, yes, this is the one I received. So this one yeah. you see is wrong, okay? You see, because GD plus is going to read January, February, March, April, and after there's nothing, after January and so on. So it, it cannot work, this one, okay? And by the way, this is not a dead variable. This is a yeah. character variable, this one, you see? Okay, so, so this one cannot work. So let's come back to the previous one. Yeah, oh, please, no, sorry. Go no. to export. I'm sorry, Siska. Could you yes. open it again? Could you open it again? Yeah, this one, the wrong one. And the wrong one? To... Yeah, the wrong one. Okay, this one is the correct one. I apologize. It's okay. <laughs> okay, go to export. Yeah, to export. Go to export. Yeah. Here we are in value trend. Okay. So, okay. So, and uh, the question was that the first variable, not the total, but the, the zero one and zero two, two product were invalid. So let us have a look to that. I'm not sure I have uh, this file, but I will check. Okay. We will see that together. Okay. Could you, could you give me back the, the screen, Siska? Thank you. So I'm going to share the file just to show you. So I, I hope I have the right one. Uh, okay. Uh, where is it? Excuse me. Yes, this one. So you see, I do not have the same, ah, yes, I do, okay. So I exactly, I, I apologize. I exactly have the same file. As you can see on the left, I did some correction of, uh, I corrected the, the date, so I, I do have, correct that variable. So let us have a look to this file. If you have it in the shared drive, you can load it if you want, just to, so we can look at the data. You can see, of course, that we will have a lot of problems because here we have a lot, a lot of missing values. So we, and not so many observation because it's a quarterly series. So we have a lot of missing observation Probably it won't work, but I will see that, okay? So I close, I close the file. I open GD plus.
and uh, I, I already load the file with the star. Thanks, Siska, for the tip. I'm using it every time now. Thank you so much. <laughs> so if I want to do so now, I understand what uh, what Lau was saying yesterday. Uh, Vayong, yeah, this is the name. No, yeah, Yayong, yeah, Yavong. Sorry for the bad pronunciation. Uh, so I understand what yeah. he was saying yesterday. Now, so I apologize yeah. really for yesterday. Okay, so statistical methods, seasonal adjustment, multiprocessing new. So he was right, we have to change the, the specification because we are working with quarterly data. So I use this one and this is the, the, the file from, uh, so here are all the, the series. If I run them, you can see that on my computer, I do not have zero one and zero two invalid. It's mm -hmm. valid for me. Yeah. But I don't know if it was for exports or for the other, but let me show you something. If I click on status, I will order the variable according to status. So I can see, for example, you see, I just click on status. Mm -hmm. So now I have, no data for this yeah. for this uh, for this product okay so that's okay so if there's no data cannot do anything and at the end i guess if i do the over the opposite i have a lot of invalid yeah. data okay yeah. so what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, did i run the software i do not yes i did Okay, so what I'm going to do is just check why they are invalid, okay? So if you want to check, you just have to click, to click on it. So you have had, you, too many missing values. Yeah, I know that. So yeah. you, you have to understand that, of course, because this is a statistical algorithm, it, it should be able to adjust the model, but if there's too many missing values, it won't be able. It won't be able to have a model uh, precise enough. So it, it will uh, it will say no. I cannot do a good job. So stop now. But sometimes you might have some kind of numerical problems. The algorithm does not converge, or you have a, a division by zero or by things like that. It's very scarce, but it could. Same for the second, not enough data for this one. So I guess it's a very small series, okay? Not enough data, it means that you have less than three years of data. So less, less than 12 observation. So as you know, it won't do the seasonal adjustment, okay? And after you can go through everything, too many missing values, too many missing values, not enough data, too many missing values, too many, okay? So all these series, you cannot adjust them. I, I'm just going through very quickly to see, to see if there's something wrong, different, no. Okay, so you see that the two, the two men, ah, is, this one is different. Too many identical values. So if I go back to the file, just to have a look to, to this one. Uh, so it was trade value and it was 99. So it was the last series. Excuse me, I have to remove that, okay. Yeah, of course you have, we have a problem, okay. 99, you see that we have zero, 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 zero. You see, just one. I don't know if it's an error, it's something, uh, I don't know, okay? But obviously this series cannot be, uh, you can do nothing with such a series, okay? So you see what will, uh, what will happen? The software is going to try to do the job and in some occasion it will say, you know, Sorry, I have too few values or too, missing, too many missing values. 
For example, this one could be a problem because I just have uh, this one, I mean, 0 for the product 0 for, for, uh, for exports. You see that I have, so the last value is not a missing values. We don't know if it's a missing value or not. We have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, 10, let us 14. We have 14 missing value out of 44, 44. So you have more than 30% of missing values. So the software is going to say, no, I cannot do anything. I don't, okay. So I won't say it's, uh, it's normal, but uh, that's life. Okay. Usually, I mean, yes, for the second, for fish, for example, you do not have uh, so many missing values. And so probably the soft, I oh, know, perhaps the software doesn't like it. Okay. I don't know. Okay. So, so you understand the problem? Is it clear now? Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. So, so what you sh I don't know what you should do here, but you have to check if your series can really be adjusted. Of course, all these ones could not be adjusted. And I'm not sure. It's a huge breakdown you require. You have a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot, a lot of series and a lot of breakdowns. So I'm not sure it's very, very, Do you don't have a not so detailed breakdown. Siska, in your, in your classification, do you have an intermediate breakdown between the total on this, this breakdown at 99 uh, modalities? Or then two digit, you mean? Yeah, I don't know. This one is the two digit. Yeah. Yeah, two digit. Mm -hmm. But you can do something in with one digit. No, you cannot. One oh, digit. Not, I no. Can no. <clears throat> no, you cannot really. I, I'm looking through the. Okay, so I don't know, but you will have, you will have a lot of series that you cannot adjust, just because the values are. The series is too erratic, too many missing values, and so on. But we can try to, to have a look to some series. So I'm going to go back I, because I sorted my data. So I might have a, a, different, uh, a different order now. So if I do the work with you, it's better when we start from the, from the file uh, without any sorting. OK, so I, I shot. I close GD plus. You see, always the same question. Do you want to save the changes you made to the workspace? I do not do it, but I will explain you what it means and what we should do. We should say yes, but I will explain why I do not, okay, at the moment. So no, I change nothing. And I, I will reopen now GD plus just to, to go through this file very quickly. I'm not going to spend too much time on this very precise file because it's better than you work on, uh, on the file of total export imports, which is easier, okay? So let me anyway try to, to do things. So oh, I change because it's quarterly data. And I run it again. So now I have, uh, oh, sorry. It's okay. So I run it. You can see that it's very, very, very fast. So let me just go through uh, perhaps uh, five, six, or 10 series because you have a lot of good, uncertain, severe, invalid. We already know wh why we have invalid data. So let me go through some of them. 
So we do not have a big problem with this one. We can see that on the graph, you, you, you should be able now to, to notice that, that we have a, an additive model because you have minus signs and plus signs here on the left axis. You see that the, we, we have, so we do not know exactly if it's a strong or not uh, effect. And the difference between all the effects is not so big due to the irregular. So it's good to go to have a look to the diagnostic, the seasonality test. You go to the linearized, so there's no seasonality, okay? So this series should not be, curiously, it's a, it's a good series, but obviously you should not, you should not adjust it you do not see if it's different or not. Of course, they, they look different, but they are not so different. You see that the, the clouds, the clouds and versus small cloud, and this one are overlapping. So statistically, it's difficult to make the difference between these two values. This one also is overlapping with this one a bit, okay, because of this value and the others. So if you compute the variance, the confidence interval will overlap. Or any confidence interval will overlap with the others. So there's no statistical difference between all these things. I do not know if it's important to, or not, I mean, but we can, you know now, you can play with the software and ask for a multiplicative model very quickly, just to have a look. Okay, so you say, I change the transformation, I put it to log, I do not want an automatic uh, search for the transformation, I apply, and you can see that they are, they are not so, di of course, they are not very different from the previous one, and the, the estimation is between minus 2% here and plus 6%, and this one, you see, the, all, the, all the curves overlap, okay? The, this one has an overlap with this one, this one, and this one, all the curves. So it's impossible to make a statistical, a statistical uh, difference between, uh, significant difference between the seasonal components. So you will say that there's no seasonality. By the way, if you look, if you have a look to the, to the series itself, you can see that you do not have a lot of difference between the seasonally adjusted series in blue. So if you click on it, you see it. And on the raw data, you do not have a lot of differences, okay? It's because the seasonal component is pretty small. So I won't adjust this one either. The next one, uh, no, I won't change that, okay. The next one is likely not seasonal eh? because you see, you should be aware, now you see that all the clouds overlap. You see what I mean? So imagine that you, com you compute a variance and a confidence interval around the red curve. You, all the confidence interval will overlap. And so you, you could not make a statistical difference between all these figures. So it's not seasonal, I guess. Let me check here. No, it's not. Okay. You see? Okay. So let me show you something now. You, you are not going to go through, we have here 294 data series. I'm not going to go through the 300 uh, series uh, step one by one. It's better to have a complete, uh, for example, an Excel file with all the diagnostics and to, to try to read it uh, very quickly. So for example, here, you, you see, if I go to matrix, I have here a lot of things. So odds, what's happening? Sorry, uh, because yeah, uh, 
Oh, it's probably be. Oh, sorry, I made something. Uh, so, but what's going? Why do not have a mat? I don't have a matrix. Oh, uh -huh, something is wrong. Did I run the job? I will run it again. Excuse me. Yeah, and now I do have my matrix or not? Oh no. Okay, I do have some bugs somewhere. I don't know why. Probably because of some invalid data that well, I did perhaps something wrong. Anyway, let me, for example, if I want to do something to save the results, because up to now, we never save the results, okay? We are working in the graphical interface and we did nothing else. So, so I, I won't work on this one. It's too complex, too many bad series. So let us come back, if you don't mind. You can do that with me. I will open a new, a new seasonal adjustment, multiprocessing new. So I have another one. And I will take the the monthly trade data, the ASEAN monthly trade data. So I guess this is the one with three series by, exactly, three series by country, okay? And this is a monthly time series. So I'm going to use ISR5C and I run it, okay? I run it. I do not have a lot of series. Some are severe, but we already saw them yesterday. I will come back on them. And if I, let us say that here, I do have a matrix, you know, with some, with some, uh, some results. For example, I have here the number of observation. I have here, here, do I, do I take the logarithm or not of a series? So with one, it means that it's a multiplicative model. Okay. I do not explain everything. Uh, and here it's the, the Arima model. If I want to see if I have calendar effects, I can see here that for some countries I have a calendar effect. You see that in some occasion, I can see an Easter effect, which is, uh, which is, oh yes, you have, uh, yes, it's true that in Singapore, you celebrate a Good Friday and Easter, if I remember well. Yeah, we saw that yesterday on the, uh, on the world time on that website. So probably you, you might have an Easter effect. We will discuss that later. Here in Brunei, Brunei it's unlikely that you have a, an Easter effect. So for this series, you should, you should accept perhaps, if we will discuss that later, perhaps, the impact of Easter in Singapore. And uh, you should remove the Easter effect for the others, because I do not think that in the other countries you celebrate Easter. Anyway, we will discuss that later. So you can see all the trading day effects. So the effect of every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so on. You have here the outliers. So let me show you. So you have here all the outliers. So you can see that, for example, for Brunei, you have no. You, you do not seem to have any outliers for the crisis, but perhaps we do not have yet the data. Uh, I'm just, for Indonesia, we see that we have some trouble with, uh, with tw 2020, but not everywhere, okay? Excuse me. Je, je, I understand nothing. Yeah, yeah, please go. You can continue. Okay. Uh, so you see, you, you have a global picture of all the series, right? Here. Here you have a test. 
So it's difficult to understand all these tastes, but here, for example, it's this taste is here to check this one, uh, this one. No, uh, sorry, this not this line. Sorry, uh, this test. You see, for example, this column is here to check the presence of seasonal component in the in the seasonally adjusted series, and it's okay because everything is greater than five percent after you have the m statistics okay so you have a lot of different uh, results and you can save them you can save them here is the most Im impressive uh, list of uh, you have here all the list of quality diagnostics so it's huge 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 this is this but you can save it you can save this uh, matrix automatically you can save it in a uh, in an Excel file, for example, and this is this matrix. Of course, it looks complex. It's not that it's not that complex, and we will study it in the advanced course. But it's from this matrix that you can save that you are going to um, you are going to to build your quality report automatically. Okay. So let me let me show you first. We, we are going to, to work on the data. You remember that we decided that, for example, we, we could build a new, a new specification. If you remember, we did that yesterday. So I'm going to build a new specification, which will be slightly different. So I will clone. I clone the last one, okay? And I will change it. I will change a couple of things. Look at what I am going to do. Because most of the countries cannot pre present an Easter effect. It's unlikely that you have an Easter effect. To have an Easter effect, you must, because it's import and export uh, time series, you must have an administrative uh, effect. So people should be, the administration should be closed. So you have a report, uh, you know, between the, the Easter Monday and the Good Friday will be closed, for example. So you do not have any registration at this time. So it should be a negative effect. And uh, you have this kind of effect only if you, uh, if you celebrate Easter. So if in your calendar you have no Easter, you should not take it into account in this, uh, in this case. So I will, I will do it and I will come back after to Singapore because we saw that Singapore uh, might have an Easter effect. It has to be discussed with the people, uh, with, uh, but we will check that later. So trading day, uh, I will, uh, no, it's Easter, sorry. I will remove Easter and I will put it back later for Singapore only. So I remember I remove that and I do not like, you know, that I take, I do not like transitory changes because they are scarce. And if you put them, you will have a lot of usually. So I say, okay, I don't want that. Okay. And I will, for example, do another processing statistical, uh, sorry, I will call it differently. I will call it uh, rename, I will call it ASEAN because this is the ASEAN series. Okay. And I will create a new, so you can do that with me, of course. Yes, you, you do it or you follow? Is it okay? Yeah, okay. for me. Okay. So new. Now I will change it. I will take ASEAN. You see, I take ASEAN. I check and have no chat. Ah, we have a, okay. Okay, so I close it. Uh, I put all the series now. 
I put all the series. I will seasonally adjust everything with this new series, okay? With this new, uh, okay? But I know I did something wrong because I removed the easter effect for, uh, for Singapore. So I can do, and I saw that I have a pretty strong effect. So just for, I will change it for this one, for the free uh, series. So for, for this one, for example, I will re-put put again the calendar, so the Easter effect, I will put it again. Okay, it's done, apply. I will do it the same for this, yes, I, change, I, I keep the changes. I will do it again for the free Singapore series. So I will put it back. Sorry, I made a mistake, Easter is enabled. Okay, apply. And I, I will do it. So I save it, okay, and I will do it for the, the last one. So the free Singapore series, I accept the idea for the moment, I accept the idea of an Easter effect. Okay, so I will, uh, sorry, I made a mistake. Okay, here I am. So we adjust. Uh, made something wrong, so is enabled, apply, and save. Okay, so here you see now that all the series are adjusted with the ASEAN specification, except Singapore series, we, that have their own specification, okay? So I can do that. So now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to, to save uh, things. Uh, okay, it's not a big deal that we have uh, this name. I, I will keep the two. I will drop the one with Laos series because it's not consistent with the two others. I will keep these two SR processing and I will, I will put, I will save my work, okay? This is important now. So because I'm just working on this time series, I will remove the other series, the other, the other spreadsheet. So I will close them. I close this one. I close the quarterly data also, and I close the GDP series. So my workspace is coherent now. It means that I'm working on one set of data and I'm doing different experimentation, different kind of specification, but on the same set of data. So for me, it's coherent, okay? So now what I want to show you is how you can save these files, okay? So I will do it. So I can say, uh, so, so I am in SR processing two here. I will, sorry, file, I will save workspace as, so I'm going to give a name to this workspace of course, I will call it ASEAN monthly trade, okay? So it asks me where I want to put it. Of course, I will put it in the, in the training folder. So this one, and I will call it, I will give it, sorry, at the end, I will give it a name, so I will call it Sorry, I will call it ASEAN monthly data, okay? I ju I'm just doing that, okay? So I, I click, okay, it's, so it's done. Now what I'm going to do is just to, sh to close GD plus and to see what happened, okay? 
So let me close GD plus. Do you follow me? Yeah, this guy, do you think people follow? Can we, we can ask them? Yeah. Yeah, yes, I'm following you. I think we're good. You're all good. Okay, wonderful. So you're, you're I mean, it's not easy what I'm doing now. You see, mm -hmm. I'm doing a lot of things very quickly and you follow. Ah, they are free. There's a lot of uh, reaction. Let me check that. Yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. Everyone follows. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So you see that you you are really, really progressing because uh, it was, I mean, you are comfortable now with GD+. And because we are doing very complex things right now. So let me show you. So I, I close the... I close GD plus and I'm going, I will go now to the Jakarta, okay, so to my, uh, to my folder. So this is my training folder and I can see that I created some two things. Oh, look at that. First, you have here an ASEAN monthly data dot XML file. And I have an ASEAN monthly data directory. Let me click just on the ASEAN monthly data XML file. I open it and I have something very curious. I have in fact the free processing I was doing before. Okay. So I have free processing and you can see also that I have, I have a new, a new spec file. Okay a new name, a new specification that I can find in the X13 spec one uh, file. It's just for, uh, it's just for GDMetra, okay? So let me show you now something different. Sorry, I have to shut this one also. So now what it means? It means that when I'm going to open next time, the, the workspace, I'm going to tell GD plus to go to this file. And GD plus knows because it's, it has the same name, but all the data are in this, in this directory. What do I have in the directory? I have the specification. In particular, I have a new specification because you remember I created I created my specification that I called ASEAN for the graphical interface and where I, I remove the transitory changes and I remove the, the XML, the history effects. If I open it, you will find, I mean, it's complex, but everything that we are going to do is in this file. Okay, everything is in it, okay. So after, let me show you. So in the other one, you have a SA processing. So you can find here in the free processing, it's too bad, uh, it was too late. So I have in this processing, unfortunately, I have also the I have also the low data, but it's not, it's not important. It's just, uh, it's just an exercise. Okay. So let me, let me show you what we have in the second process. We, you have, you have everything. For example, you have here for the imports of ASEAN, you have the fact that it's a monthly series. It's starting in 2010, the first month. You have all the data, all the data after. You have everything. All the data are there, okay? And how, after, you have all the results, all the specification. So you will know, it's difficult to read the first thing, the first time, but after it's okay. You are using X13, you are doing a seasonal adjustment. Here you have a regular linear part. So you are going to 
to use, you are not going to use, you found that it was a logarithmic transformation. You found that you had to adjust for EPR. You had also, you have here all the values of the ARIMA model parameters. You have a trading day option, okay? You, you, know, you know that you ask for a trading day adjustment. You have a list, all the list of the outliers. So you, you, are, you we have still, uh, anyway, so it's too bad. Uh, it's uh, the first one, so it, it's SA2. So that I ask for uh, the, tra the transitory changes in the first one. It's in, this one is, with, is not with ASEAN, the specification ASEAN, it's the, the first one. And you have everything. And after you have a second, second series and so on. So everything is there, okay? If I go to the last one, if you remember the SR processing free, it was with the specific, uh, <clears throat> with our specific uh, specification without the transitory changes, without the Easter effect, except for Singapore, okay? So everything should be here. Now you still have here the data, okay? But you have no tra transitory changes. You will see that we should not have a transitory change, we do not have. We just have here in this case level shifts. We add the transitory changes. So if I look to Singapore now, here we have Singapore. Okay, so we can see that for Singapore, We have a trading day option, okay? We have a trading day and we have Easter. It's still in the, we put it back if you remember, if you re remember well, okay? So in this file, we have everything, everything. So let us imagine now you are in production time. So you run the, the data you did the adjustment and you save the workspace. So now you have one workspace with exactly all the data, all what you did, all what you did, and with all the data you were using at this time for this month, okay? So you can, for example, take this workspace and save it as an archive to keep track of what you did month by month. So it's a just transparency. If someone asks you in two years, what did you do this month? You exactly have everything. So the next month, what will happen? You will, <clears throat> you will use, of course, uh, different data because you are going to, in, in, to, for example, to update the Excel file. You are going to, to add a new month for most of the series. So you are going to rerun exactly the same process with the data will be updated automatically and you will save a, no, a new workspace for this month and so on. So now, do you follow me? Yeah, it's a, it's a bit difficult, um, but okay. It's logical, but a bit difficult anyway. So what I, what I miss now is that I didn't save the, the, the components. I didn't do it. So let me do it again. I will save, I will come back to the data, okay? So I will rerun GD plus. I should have saved the data before, but, but it's not important, file. Open works, open recent workspace, and I will open it directly as Ian monthly data. I have it, it's done. So the workspace is here. You see, as Ian monthly data, I have my, my, all my processing, okay? So if, for example, I want to rerun 
the ASEAN specification, I double click on it, it appears. I can run it again. Okay, so I have everything. I have exactly all the results I was supposed to have. And you see, for example, that for Singapore, I have the specification, which is with Easter. And now let us imagine I want to save the data. So I could open also a SAP processing too. I will run it again. So I have for the two processing, I have two different run. Let me save the data. If I want to save everything, I will do SA processing output. I have a new window. So you do exactly what I'm doing. You do not click on OK right now because it will take time to specify everything. So you say, OK, what I want, I want, for example, to save all my components in CSV files. So I put that. So of course, I have to tell to tell to the software where I want to store the, day, the components. So I have to choose a folder. Of course, I'm going to choose the folder I was using for my, uh, excuse me. So it's always a bit, uh, the first time it's always a bit, uh, a bit tricky because you have to look for your uh, your your directory here the, the direct the training directory so i will say that i want to put my data for example i don't here in this in this folder okay so i will say okay so it will be in this fold in the folder of a workspace. What I want, I want to have a vertical table. I think this is right. Vertical table means that your, your data will be in column. This is what I want. Hey, here you can, you can say what are, the, what are the components you want to save. You see, you have a lot of components possible, but what we are going to save, it's the raw data, Y, the trend cycle, T, the seasonally adjusted series, SA, the seasonal component, the irregular component, and the raw data corrected from calendar effects. Okay? For, you can change. You can remove one, you click on it and you go left, or you can add another one. Okay? So this is what you, you are going to save. So you say, okay. You do not click on OK because you want to save also the diagnostics. The diagnostics are in CSV matrix. So you say, OK, I want the CSV matrix. You have to tell the software where you are going to put it. Obviously, it's easier now because we already did it once. So it's OK. And I, I can choose if I want all the, all what I want to to save. Let us say that we are going to save what is uh, by default. And I say, now I precise everything. I want to save the components and the diagnostics. I will say, OK. And you will see when I click on OK, you will see that at the bottom right, it, it will be very fast. But you will see uh, some message saying that everything has been saved. Okay, you saw. So if I click show in folder, I will go to the folder directly. So you recognize now a workspace, ASEAN monthly data. I have another workspace inside and I can see SA processing. And here I have all the results of my SA processing free. Let me show you. For example, I have a raw data. Okay, 
These are the raw data. I also have uh, seasonally adjusted series. Here they are, and so on, okay? So I have all the components, and here I have my diagnostic file, a complete diagnostic file. We will study it later, but for example, you see the leap year effect here. You see uh, a lot of things. You have a lot of, a lot of uh, really all the outliers. So you have all, all, all what you want. The model that has been adjusted by the procedure and you can, you have a, all the M statistics and a lot, a lot, a lot of tests. And from this, probably you have much more than I have, by the way, because I restricted my number of, uh... and so you can see, for example, let me show this, this column for, to you. This is the seasonal combined test. If you look at it, you can see where you should have or not uh, a seasonal component. So you see that the free first, yes, the free after, no, adopt on the next one, certainly not. And some countries, I would say that some countries are more seasonal than the others, okay? So it gives you, you have all the results here. Here, for example, if I have a look to this column, as every number, I should just check that every number is more, greater than 0 0.05, so greater than 5%. And it's definitely true for everything, for every, every case in the column. And so it means that I do not have, I do not, and the same for here, except this one, I do not have a, season, a residual seasonality in my series and so on. So you have here all the results. So let me summarize a bit. Uh, we know we will do it again, don't worry. We will do it again for another Series, another set of series later, perhaps GDP, perhaps something else, okay? We know that we can save our work. It means that we can save the data on which we were working on, and we can save also all the specification for any time series. If we modify the specification for a specific time series, we can save it. We can save the results. It means the components of the adjustment, and we can save also the diagnostics. So if you run things, you understand that you are able now in your, in your um, uh, production process, you, you, can, you know that you can link this thing, this directory to your dissemination database, and you can you can do that automatically, go to dissemination. You can edit your quality report after uh, in Excel or whatever. You can choose, uh, do an Excel file with uh, what I did. You, you remember, I, I saw this, uh, I show you this uh, small quality report. So you can produce when you are uh, trained and you have some experience, you can produce automatically your, uh, your adjusted data. Okay, do you have any question at this time? I guess so, yeah, you should. <laughs> do you have any question? It was, uh, well, I was speed this morning. <laughs> Is it okay for everyone? I mean, okay, certainly not, I mean, I mean if I ask you, do it again right now, you will not be able. But did you understand? Did you understand at least the logic, all of the things? And the very new concept we apply today, which is the workspace concept, where you are going to save everything what you did, everything. So if you are sick, someone can take your place because it has, he, has, he or she has access exactly to what you did. Exactly, nothing different. 
okay? So it's very secure. You can see, you can imagine that this is uh, really, you see now that it's a professional product. And you will see in the advanced training that you can go even further. You can say that this is what I'm doing when I do some production analysis. I say that I do not want to put my hands in the process because any manual intervention might be a source of error, okay? You can do something wrong. So what INSEE does, for example, when it's production time, they just push a button. And by the way, they are using the software A to guide all the process. So the R software is going to launch JDemetra with the new data without, without uh, touching anything. So somewhere you update the file, the data, you have your production system with the, da the data, the new data. I is going to tell to GD plus, go ahead. GD plus will look for the new data redo exactly the adjustment you did, you, you did the previous time, do it exactly. We'll save the results automatically in, uh, in the workspace. If you are good in R, you can edit immediately the quality report. You can do with Markdown, you can do a, a PDF file with one sheet per series, giving you the date, the thing. And you can check that everything is okay. You can eventually on the Excel file, sort it and uh, output the problematic time series. You go, in this case, you go to the graphical user interface, you load the workspace, you study the problematic series, eventually you change things and you rerun the complete process. So it's, it's very, very convenient. It's really a, pro, a professional product. You will see uh, it, it takes some, I mean, it's not, it takes time. It takes time to build uh, this proce production process. But there's a lot of example throughout the world of countries that, are, that already did it. Okay, do you have a, you should have a lot of questions. You should. If not, I will be very worried. So, yes, uh, Siska, I can see your lips uh, moving, but uh, no sound. Participant. <laughs> so, is it okay? I would like some reactions. Just your feeling. Yeah. Maybe if you show your face, I can know <laughs> whether yeah, you are exactly. or <laughs> you are lost or <laughs> you face something difficult. Philippines may have question. <laughs> I don't know. Ten thousand. But be. Relax, we are going to do it again, okay? Again and again, we, are st we still have uh, two days, today and two more days. So we will do it perhaps one or two times. <coughs> we will go back to the GDP series. We will do it, create the workspace and so on, okay? And I will even do a small uh, uh, demonstration to show you that if I update, the file and the rerun the process, GD plus will take into account the new data. So we will see that. And uh, we will do it just after perhaps uh, with the GDP. So relax, you will have some, uh, some, uh, ah, <laughs> some exercise, voilà. you will, uh, you will be able to practice some practice. Voilà. Okay. So is it, uh, I could show you, but I won't show you because it's disturbing. When I, as I, 
I can use GD plus without, absolutely without opening GD plus. In R, I can use it. In R? Yeah. So we will, we will see when we are going to do the, the agenda for the advanced training, we will see where, mm. what, what we will put uh, in it. Probably we should put some R or perhaps not this time later. We will see that. Okay. So we have on the agenda now two other big things. This one, I mean, what I showed you this morning, we will practice also how judging the quality of the series, but you know now, you saw that it's quite repetitive. You, when you, you, you see what I'm looking at and uh, you take the decision quite easily. So we will practice that, we will save, the, we will save together the workspace and the, the data. And after what we, we have on the agenda, big, big thing, which are calendar effects. So I started, I started uh, yesterday to build a calendar for Singapore. So I have a tentative calendar. But what I did, I, I can explain exactly what I did, and you will see immediately the limit of the exercise. I will show you after the, the break, I will show you again the time and date uh, workspace, uh, workspace website, okay? So we have an idea uh, for 20 years of the holidays in Singapore. But my experience is that very often, these dates are not very accurate. So I will use them to create automatically the workspace, uh, the calendar, I will use them. I will show you roughly how to do that. I will use them, okay, for Singapore. So I will show you how I can modify the specification to take into account, for example, for Singapore, the calendar. I will try to do uh, for some other countries but uh, it's, uh, it's not so easy, so it takes time, but I will do that for, uh, we will decide with, uh, with uh, Siska, Fatur, and uh, Lia which countries, okay? And for the next uh, seminar, we will try to have the 10, 10 calendars, okay? We will try to have that. Okay. So tomorrow, I guess we can work with uh, the calendar. So today, I would, um, I would prefer that you, you practice how to save the workspace, how to save the data, and once again, how to judge the quality of a series. Okay, what do you think, Leah? Does it sound good? Yes, I think that sounds good. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So, any question? Let me have a look to the chat, if the chat is somewhere. Chat, no, no question in the chat. Everything is okay for you? I can't believe it. You are lying. <laughs> for me, it's too fast, and then I have to uh, practice by myself. Yeah, we will do it now, okay, Leah? If you don't mind, I will take, we will do it with uh, GDP. So we will create a complete okay. new. Okay, that sounds good, yeah. We'll start from scratch. So I will come even back to the reading of, uh, to loading the, the Excel file, to change the specification and so on, to run the software, to save the workspace, to save the component, to save the diagnostics, okay? And eventually to change a couple of things. Would you agree, yeah? Yes, I agree. Okay, so let's go to GDP. Okay, so I share again my screen and you follow me. You can do it, so I will go, I will go slowly. So we will take perhaps uh, half an hour to do that up to until the break. Okay, and uh, after we will do it again with the other series 
I do not remember which the quarterly um, the quarterly data. Okay. So I share my screen again. And I will go back to GD plus. So I open it, it's already open. So I am going to close it, okay? So if I close it, as I did nothing, I didn't change any specification, the software does not ask me if I want to save something because I did nothing, okay? So now I will open it again. So if I go to provider, I should have nothing. Ah, I still have them, so I should remove the stars. Okay, uh, I will remove the star, remove star. I, rem I will remove everything to start from scratch, okay? Remove star and remove star. Okay, now I close it, so I will lose everything but I know it, okay? So I reopen it. So now I should have nothing and I have nothing. Wonderful, <laughs> I've lost everything. So, you know, I will do it again anyway, okay? But you know, you can't go to, to op you can open your files because if you go to open recent, but I will show you how to open a new file. So spreadsheets, right click, open, I have this new window. I have to tell the software where the, where the file I want to open is. So I use this uh, Windows Explorer to do to say it. So oh, so I'm looking for it. ASEAN. And it's in training data. And I'm going to use now the ASEAN GDP file. Okay. And okay. So here I have my file. Okay. With for every uh, for every country, I have a breakdown by industry and by uh, constant and current prices. Wonderful. So now I decide to do a seasonal adjustment. So you can follow me, I guess, yeah? Up to now, is it okay for everyone? Is there any problem? Let me know. Just looking at the chat. So no, no message on the chat. So I take it, everything is okay. If not, you, you just say stop, I, I, I do it again. No, it seems to be okay, so. Okay, so now multiprocessing new. I change because it's a quarterly time series. I take ISA one. You know, this is my way of doing things. It doesn't mean that you should do that, but I mean, to start at least you can trust me. Uh, so you, I do, I do that, and you saw that it's better. But you know also that for some time series, and I will do it. I could do it now. So I, I could, for example, just I will, I will do a, another SA processing after, just to show you. And so ISA one, I take all the data, I put them there, and I run the. So it's it's done. Okay. Everyone is okay. If somebody has some problem, do mm -hmm. not hesitate to send. Uh... I'm okay. Okay, so everyone sounds to be correct. Wonderful. So I'm not going to to check something right now, I will do later. If you remember in the specification, let, let me open it, for example, for the first series, 
in the specification, in the outliers, I ask for transitory changes, okay? Let us imagine that I do not want to do it. So I will create, I will create in workspace, I will create a new specification, okay? So specification X13, and I'm going to create a clone of RSA. So I clone it. I have a new one. I open it and I just remove transitory change. Okay, I will create just a slightly different specification. It's just for the exercise, okay? And now I will rerun, I will readjust all my series with this new specification. So I have to create a new SR processing, seasonal adjustment, multiprocessing new. It's the second one. I change and I take the new specification. Okay, here it is. And I go to the providers and I put all my data in there, okay? And I run it. And I have now two seasonal adjustments, one with a real ISR specification. So here I have ISA, okay? And the second with my own specification. I didn't change the name, it doesn't matter so much, okay? This, the signal difference is that I do not have a transitory change here. So let me see, just to play with the software. Are you following? Still following? I check, still no message in the chat, okay. So I continue. Leah, is it okay? Is, is it too fast or not? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, wonderful. So you're, you're getting better and better, everyone. Because I, I'm really, I, I have, a, I have a, a message. Yes, it's okay, wonderful. Uh, so you're getting better and better, faster and faster. I, I will accelerate. <laughs> I will try to, to leave you behind. No, just kidding. Okay, so this is the new specification. What I wanted to see is the difference. So I go to SR processing one. This one is with transitory changes. If I want to know if I have, which are the, the series with transitory changes, I can go to matrix and outliers. And you see, for example, Brunei has a transitory change, okay, for the, for the second, okay. Just for the second series, which is, sorry, let me just check the name of the series. For the agriculture in current prices. Okay. So, and of course I should not have this one. So let me see the difference between, so uh, between the two. I have the agriculture here, okay. So I'm, I'm putting everything together, the puzzle. Now we saw a lot of pieces, different pieces, and I'm putting the, the puzzle together. So I will open a new graph just to play. Tools, container, chart, okay. And in this chart, I will put here the seasonally adjusted series for the first specification. Here is the, okay. And I will go to SR processing two, agriculture, main result, table, and I put the seasonally adjusted series. And you can see that in fact, we have here, we just have a very, very we have some differences which are at the beginning, you see, at the beginning of a, of a, of a series. Let me come back, show all, okay. So at the end of the series, we have no problem. 
it's very, very similar, no problem. Even the, the forecasts are similar. It's just that here that the modeling is different with a, a, a transitory change in one, in the first SA processing one and no transitory change for the second one, okay? So you see that you can play with the software quite easily now. Okay, so <coughs> I stop that. Uh, I'm not going to check, oh, no, it doesn't, uh, no. So let us imagine that I'm, I'm fine with this kind of uh, result. And I want to save the two things. So I have to save first, so file, save workspace as. So I will save my workspace. So it will be as the NGDP. Okay, I should write GDP by industry, for example, to be more, to be, I will do that. Okay, by industry. So I save it. Okay, so now I want to save my results. So I am in SR processing one, I click on it. When I click on it, look here, you have SR processing. If I go there, if I go to the other one, up, I have SR processing too. So when I click on the SR processing, I open a new tab here where I can find the output. So I select the output. I click on the plus tab and I can select a lot of things, okay? Not a lot of things. In fact, I can select CSV matrix is for the diagnostic matrix, okay? CSV, Excel or text are for the components. So I can save the components in CSV format, Excel format, TX and text format. I advise you to use CSV. Why? Text will work well, of course. CSV is a text file. So it's very similar, CSV and text. But for Excel, you, may, you might have, you might experience in some case, some problem with very old or very new versions of Excel. So I won't recommend you to use Excel. You can, you can make your own experience and I hope you will have no problem. But my experience is that it always works with CSV file. This is why I'm always using CSV because with CSV, I can, CSV can be read by any other software, any, any, any. Okay, so I would choose CSV. So when I, I click on CSV, I have a new thing. So I can, I can say eventually, I want to save the components and the diagnostics. I have a course to tell, to tell GD plus where I want to put them. So here I go. So I'm, I'm very close to, okay, so. I will say that I want to store it in the ASEAN GDP by industry workspace. So, okay. And I say that I want a V table. I'm used with a vertical table, so the, the series in columns. But you have different formats, but I prefer. And I want to save only these components. And after I go to CSV matrix, I will tell where I want to put it in the same folder, okay? And I won't change the default list of uh, items. I could, but I won't, okay? So now, now that I precise everything, I can say, okay. And I save everything now. Everything is in the folder. I click on the, I will go in the, in the folder to show you. So 
In the folder, I have my SR processing one and two, you know, with all the series. And I have calendar, I will show you the, tomorrow, okay? And I have the ASEAN, I have my results for SA processing one, okay? Here they are, all the results. If I click, for example, on the seasonal adjusted series, I will have my table, okay? I have everything here, okay? In a, in a, single, in a single file. So I close it. And now you notice that I didn't save the SR processing two. So if I want to save it, I have to go to SR processing two and to save the data, SR processing, output, output CSV and CSV matrix. The CSV, I will put it in the same folder, of course. Okay, and I didn't change anything else. The CSV matrix in the same folder too. So here. Yeah. Okay, okay. I don't change the layout and the contents. Okay, it's done. So now if I go to my folder, you will see that I have now saved the results for my two processing. So everything is okay. So let me show you something now, just before the, or we can do the, no, just before I will show you something. Don't do it, okay? You will see why. I'm going to go to the data, to the, the data I'm using, okay? So to my file. So sorry, let me first. Let me first close the software. So as I saved everything, it doesn't ask me if I want to save anything. And so I have my data for, for example, uh, well, I will take just to see it very quickly. I will add a new date, okay? I will, I will cheat. I will just, I know it's stupid, don't tell me, I, I know that, but I will just add a new value, okay? I will copy the last column, which is completely stupid, I know. But anyway, it's just to show you that I did something, okay? I'm creating a new, uh, a new uh, data, okay? So I save it. And just for Brunei, okay? I just created, a new, the last quarter of 2020 for Brunei, okay? I register, I register it, okay? So now I go back, I go back to, and I open the recent workspace. Okay, so I have my workspace here and let us imagine that I will do just one, the first SR processing. So I do have everything right now, okay? So what I'm going to do is to refresh the data. So I have here refresh, I will I will explain that later, okay? So I will do, uh, I will do a concurrent, okay. Okay, so I refresh the data. So I did the job, okay? 
So now, let me show you. Let me show you, the, if you look at the table, you should see uh, that, but I created it, sorry. I, something was wrong, it, it was Brunei, yeah? I did something on Brunei. It should work. Why it doesn't work? Sorry, excuse me. Let me do it again. Refresh. I should have, uh, excuse me. I don't understand. Oh, okay. I will check. I surely did something wrong without noticing thing. It should refresh up. Ah, perhaps I didn't load the. Anyway, excuse me. I will. Uh, I will check that. Okay. Can we? Is there any question now? No. No question. Nothing in the chat? Nothing okay, the so, chat. so we can do perhaps a short break? Yes. yes, we can. Okay. So we do uh, 15 minutes, okay? Okay. Yes, okay. And after we will, uh, we will do it again and work again. Okay, did you, did everyone do did everyone succeed to 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 do the exercise with me or not yes okay yes. so ah uh, perhaps perhaps it was on the agriculture data wonderful thank you thank you so much <laughs> we will check that later okay sorry about it Thank you, thank you. So uh, we, we will uh, see that again uh, just a bit. We it should work. I, I'm just a bit tired and uh, sleepy. But <laughs> the, so see you in uh, 15 minutes. Okay. See okay. you. Yeah. See you. Thank you.
Should we start again? <coughs> Everyone is there? Yeah. Yeah, I think we can start. Okay, wonderful. Uh, in fact, uh, it was working, as I said on the chat box. Yeah. It was working, but for any reason, I didn't see it, and nobody saw it too. So let me show you. Uh, I'm going to share, and you will see it works. If you remember, what I did is just a replicate the last observation for Brunei, okay? But the last observation was the second quarter of 2020. And I was expecting the, so I created the third quarter. And when I looked to the, at the data just before, I was expecting something in the fourth quarter. So it was just, uh, it, it was working, look at the data here. You see that for, we replicate the last quarter and you have it in the, in the graph, okay? So you have exactly the same value for any, uh, by the way, for, for any, uh, for any of the series, you see here also, we are duplicating the, okay? So just to say that in fact, GD plus took that into account automatically. So my, my own, Excel file was updated. And so when I rerun the process, GD plus is taking into account the new thing. Okay, so I would like, I would like to do something, an experience with you. Uh, so let me close that. Of course, for me, I do not save that because uh, it's something I do not want to save because it was not the real data. So no, I will come back to, uh, to my last, uh, I will remove uh, for Brunei uh, the, the last, okay. So it's done. I'm back now to the real data. Okay, so what I want to do, I, I would like to go back to the monthly data and to try to work with a Singapore, uh, some kind of basic Singapore calendar. So let me show you what I did, by the way. As I say, when I, when I try to when I go to the time and date website, I have some ideas of uh, national holidays for, any, for a lot of countries, in particular for Singapore. So I have it. So you see you have, it could be very accurate or not. For example, as I see, uh, in Singapore, they celebrate Christmas, they celebrate uh, Diwali, they celebrate, uh, if they have a national day, uh, they, they celebrate, I guess, uh, the Aid, the end of Ramadan. Uh, they celebrate uh, Vesak Day. I do not know what it is, but I guess it's linked to the Hindi calendar. They celebrate the starting of Ramadan, I guess, something like that. And so on. So they have a lot of uh, different uh, celebrations. Some some are fixed days. For example, uh, good. Uh, sorry, the poop, 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 uh, the, the sorry the New Year. <laughs> it's a fixed day, but most most of the national day in Singapore are linked to. Uh, to moving holidays because they are based on the, on the Islamic. Uh, uh, you have also Easter on the Christian calendar and also on the Hindi calendar. So on Chinese calendar also with, uh, 
with this holiday. So it's it's a bit uh, it's a complex thing. So I have an idea of the dates uh, for uh, the holidays in Singapore for 2021, but I have it also for a lot of day for a lot of years. And so what I did is just I downloaded all these dates. And I created a calendar with in GD plus. So let me show you what a calendar is in GD plus. So if I go to, for example, uh, our, uh, excuse me, our uh, monthly data. If I open the workspace, I have so I have a directory named calendars. In calendars, I have a calendar file. The calendar file is empty. It's a just a, just an XML file, and I have nothing inside. So I could, I will show you a lot of some things, and I will um, I will cheat a bit. Okay, I will show you. So let me close it. I close this one too. And I'm going back now to GD plus. I will open it again. So you don't do, you can do a part of what I'm going to do, but you cannot do everything because I didn't share the calendar. So what I can do is to reload my recent workspace, which was the monthly data. Okay. So I have it, I have here, my specific, my multi-documents in particular, if you remember, I have SA processing free, where I have a specific treatment for, for uh, Singapore. I, I, uh, I took into account an Easter effect. So let us, let us imagine that now, I want to create a specific calendar for Singapore. What I'm going to do? It's not possible right now to uh, to do things with um, with GD plus uh, when the calendar is related to an Islamic calendar, an Indi calendar, a Chinese calendar. I will show you how I do, but inside GD plus you cannot at the moment. But you can create. Uh, just for fun, I will create a calendar, okay? So here in utilities, you can follow me and you can start doing that, okay? It, it doesn't matter after I will change my calendar. So I can say, for example, I am going to open a new calendar, which will be a national calendar. I'm going to call it Singapore. Okay, and for example, I know that it seems that according to time and date uh, website that they observed uh, Good Friday, they observed uh, the 1st of January and Christmas. So I will enter these dates. I have several ways to do that. For example, I can say I have a special day and for example, Christmas is a special day. Okay, so I have Christmas, but I have a lot of different possibilities. For example, the new year, okay? I will take new year. Okay, so here I created a thing. I will open a new one. Christmas, it's okay. I will open a new one, which is linked to, for example, for to, which is linked to, uh, uh, Easter. Okay, so it's a Good Friday. I should have Good Friday here. Okay, I put Good Friday. And I saw also the first of Labor Day, I guess. Uh, so I guess it's the first of May. So, but I will stop here. Okay, so I could, I could take a, a couple of uh, some, some holidays. I can do that. But as soon as I have a moving holiday linked to an Islamic calendar or Chinese calendar or Indie calendar, I will not be able to put it this way in GD+. But let us imagine I do that, okay? I do it. So I have a new calendar here. 
I'm going to say I will save my workspace. I save it, okay? I save the workspace. And now let me go back to, to my calendar, which was the, you, you remember, so the calendar here, if I click on it, it has changed. You see, my XML file is different. At the beginning, I had just nothing, two lines, and now I have, you see, a special calendar day, New Year, a special calendar day, Christmas, and Good Friday. And these things, GDMetra will use this information to create a new calendar, taking into account these holidays. But of course, I have something much, much different because I have a lot of things to do with. Uh... So let, let me do it. Uh, I should not, uh, I have to think about it. I will, okay, I will use this calendar first to show you how I can use I can use this calendar in GD+. And after I will modify this calendar with all the information I got from the time and date website. So first thing, I will go, so we, we, saw, we saw for example this, uh, this new, we had a new specification with, uh, for Singapore. So I'm going to change it again. So you could, you, you should perhaps open it, open the specification so you can see exactly on which uh, item I will, uh, I will work, okay? So the calendar, I have a trading day here. If you can read it in the trading day, it's in use and option, I have the default, but I'm not going to use any more the default now. Ah, you, you have, okay. Let me check the chat box. Where is the chat box? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> So is it okay? Yeah, it's, it seems to be okay. So here I can change, I will change the option default. If you click on default, you will see that you have different things, okay? And I will click on holidays. You will see what it means just after. Holidays, so at the moment, so I'm saying that I am going to use a calendar with holidays in, in it. And so it asks me now, which kind of holidays? So I click on it and I have Singapore. So I can click on Singapore. So now what is going to do the software? It's going to use this new calendar. So taking into account just the New Year, Christmas, and, and Good Friday, okay? So it will do it. So I can say apply. So uh, let me say restore before, okay? I say restore. So if, if I say restore, let me go to the pre-processing. So without taking into account the, the Singapore calendar, I change. So I say, these are my, I have a, a leap year, I have an Easter effect, and I have here the weights, the weights of the Monday and so on. So if I change things now, I, I redo it, calendar, trading day, I'm not using default, but holiday. And I will not, I will use the, cal the Singapore calendar. If I do apply, I could change these things. So I say apply. And you can see that it, it is changing pretty, quite a lot. I say quite a lot because I do not have any more an Easter effect now. Why? probably because I take the Good Friday 
into account in the trading days. So now I do not have it. Okay. Doesn't matter. It seem it means that I, I have an effect of Good Friday, but it's taken into account into the trading day effect now when it was not before because I'm using this uh, this holy this uh, specification. So I will keep it. So I say save. I keep it. So now when I will seasonally adjust Singapore with this specification, I will take into account the Singapore calendar. So let me continue for the two over, say, uh, I will do exactly the same for the two over series, the total and the exports. So I'm going to change the calendar once again. So not default, I will take holidays and the def I will take Singapore. I apply, it changes small things, and I say save. Once again, the Easter effect disappears because, as I already mentioned, it's taken into account in the in the Singapore, in Singapore uh, calendar. So I do the same for the last one, trading day news. So I click on it, default holidays and default Singapore, and I apply. Once again, the Easter effect disappear, so I save it. Okay, so now I saved, I, I did the job, and I saved my specification using the Singapore calendar. And I'm going now to close GD Plus and to save the workspace. Do you want to save the change? Yes, I want. So now for the Singapore time series, I'm going to use a Singapore calendar. I say yes. But I'm not, now I will, I will work live. It means that I didn't, I didn't try what I'm going to do. So I'm not sure it will work. It should work, but, but, but I, I might have done some mistakes somewhere and I didn't test it, okay? So uh, forgive me if, uh, if it, is, it doesn't work. So I created something somewhere. I have to find where now. <laughs> uh, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, perhaps here, that's not there, sorry. Some processing, I will. I will go there and look for my I created, so I told you to do, 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 do. So I created a very specific calendar. I called it Singapore at the moment. So you see what I did is from the from the time and date website, I got all the days off the festival since 2008 up to, up to uh, 2025, okay? So I have all the festivals, some, and I have just the date of the festival. So I do not know what it is. I guess that uh, March 21, 20, 21 was the Good Friday, I guess, okay? So, but I don't know, May 1 and so on. So I will create it, I will copy it, and I will put it, replace it. I will replace the calendar XML by this file. So I hope it will work, I'm not sure, okay? So I will save it and I will try. If it doesn't work, I will, uh, <laughs> I will lost everything. But anyway, <coughs> let me try now. So I open again GD plus. So 
So here is GD plus. Do I have any, is there any, no, it's okay for, okay. So now I will open a workspace, the last workspace. So my monthly data. So I have the utilities. So I have, oh, why it's not the workspace? Oh, 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 it doesn't work. I'm sorry, no, I did something wrong, obviously. Uh, I should have, it's not a big deal. Uh, I did something wrong. <laughs> I should have tested before. I apologize. Uh, to, 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 it should work. Why it doesn't work? I could perhaps try to. Excuse me. Uh, let me go back. No, I cannot go back with this one. That's too bad. Doesn't matter, I'm going to cheat a bit, but I cannot open anymore my, uh, I made a mistake. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> I did something wrong. Uh, let me, let me cheat a bit. Uh, ah. <laughs> what can I do? I'm thinking, uh, load. Okay. Um, I will, I will do it again completely. So it will be for you a new, uh, I will destroy it. Okay, it's, uh, it's certainly the certainly the easier. Okay, so I will do it again. So let me let me create again my. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't work. It should work. Anyway, it's life. So spreadsheet. I will open. I will go recreate my completely my uh, so the workspace doesn't work anymore so open recent it's monthly okay so sorry for this uh, stupid thing okay so i create two statistical methods the first one is isr data so it works usually well it's okay. Now I will create, I will create to remember a new specification. A new specification with a clone of ISR5C, a clone. I will change it, removing, you remember the transitory changes, I will say, okay, I will call it ASEAN. It's okay. And now I will create a new, sorry, I will create a new specification, a new uh, SA processing, multiprocessing new. I will use this new specification as the AN, so with no transitory change, I put it in, uh, not, it's the data, sorry. I put the data inside, I run it. 
and I will change, you remember? Ah, I made a mistake once again. I, I should have removed the Easter effect. Oh, I'm tired. Anyway, doesn't matter so much because there was no Easter effect except. Uh... So I will create now, I will do it. It doesn't matter. It won't be really the same thing that we did before with you. I create a new calendar. I add a calendar, national calendar. I call it Singapore. And I will add some, uh, some new uh, events. So for example, you remember, why oh, it doesn't work. Oh, oh. I see, yes, it worked. Special day. So Christmas, I will change it to New Year. Okay, after I will add a new special day, which will be Good Friday. I will add a new special day. I saw that Labor Day was celebrated. So I will put Labor Day. Should be somewhere. May Day, okay. And I will, I will finish with uh, with Christmas. Okay, so I have just four of them. I say yes, and I use for Singapore, if you remember. It's not exactly what you did, what I did before, but it doesn't matter. So I will change the specification. So for you, it will be, uh, you, you can understand what I'm, um, I repeat just what I did before. So for regression, I change the calendar in use. It's still in use, but I will change the calendar itself. So I will use my holiday calendar, which is named Singapore. I save it and the Easter effect will disappear. Okay. And I do it for the next, for the next, uh, series. So the, the total, I'm going to do the, the same thing. So calendar, trading day, uh, I will use the holiday and Singapore. Okay, I save it. And the last one, so I change for Singapore, I'm using a specific calendar but unfortunately not the one I wanted to use, but I will check that uh, this afternoon. Singapore, and I save it. So I, I have a new, uh, new thing now. I have something different. So I can save my, my output. I'm redoing the job, by the way. You can see that, okay? CSV, CSV matrix. Let me just put it in the right folder. So of course I have to redo it again. So I put it in my... Uh, Ah, I didn't create, sorry. I forgot to cancel, so I have to, I will cancel that. And I, I have to save the workspace first, of course. So it was ASEAN, ASEAN monthly trade. Okay, and now I will save things, sorry. Up. Output. Hopefully you do not have to do that every time. You do that just once at the very beginning when you prepare everything. After you, you do not change things. Okay, so. Oh.
So I will put it in this uh, monthly trade. Okay. And CSV matrix, the same. Okay, and I save everything. So let me check that I do have everything in my uh, in my folder now. Sorry for the inconvenience. So I do have here my SA processing too. Okay, taking into account uh, Singapore specific some Singapore specificities, and if I go to the calendar. Now, if I look at it, you see I have my four days. So I do not know why it didn't work, but now I can cheat a bit. I can put, for example, uh, something different. Uh, for example, February 7th, uh, no, it should be the, Ch the Chinese New Year, so probably the Chinese New Year. Let me put it just to see if it works. Okay, if it doesn't work after, I will uh, I will check the, the problem later. Okay, so I put it somewhere. Oh. I know, I know what, what is the problem. So I know I made a mistake in, my, in the generation. So I know, no, it cannot work, of course. It cannot work because here it's a, I forgot to close each time. I forgot to close this thing. So my mistake, okay. I did something wrong. I can correct it now, but it was a stupid thing. I, uh, so my, my file is wrong. I can correct it. I will do it and tomorrow we will work on it. Okay, I apologize. It's really stupid. This one should work now. Uh, yes, I know it's not evident for you. <laughs> I understand. So let me let me try now to do something different. So I did it. I can save if I want my SR processing one. So uh, output, I will do it anyway. CSV, CSV matrix. I change, uh, it's monthly trade, okay. I go to the other, uh, monthly trade two. Okay, okay. So it's done, I saved everything. I'm going to close the file, okay. And to reopen now, so I saved completely my uh, calendar, my, uh, sorry, my workspace. And so now it should work. I cross the fingers, it should work. So I open a recent workspace, monthly trade. So it's, it's here now. Let me check what do I have here. I have in Singapore, what do I have? Let me, let me check. Edit. Yeah, you see now I have fixed February 7 for, for a special year. So I have it. Okay, wonderful. So if it's working now, if I, if I use my, I do, for example, the multi document, I use the SA processing to where, where Singapore is using a specific calendar. Now, if I run it again, I will use also the 7th of February. So you see what I am trying to do? I'm, try, I'm trying to fool a bit GDMetra Plus to take into account the specificities of the, of the Singapore calendar. So 
tomorrow we will do the complete uh, the complete work because I have to change my file. I made a mistake, a stupid mistake. So I will do it again. And I, we will exercise that tomorrow in Singapore. If I will try this evening to build perhaps some, some other calendars from the time and date. Okay, so I'm coming back. I'm sorry, it was a bit, uh, I apologize. It was a bit tricky, but it's always, it's, um, it, it's always the case when you want to, when you want really to, to answer to people's questions. And one of your main questions you have, I guess, is how can I take into account the specificities of my calendar? The point is that you usually guys have very complex calendars. So it's very difficult to take them into account in to build the calendar. In GDMetra, it's impossible because you mix uh, several calendars. Do not forget that at the origin, uh, GDMetra Plus is a Western country uh, uh, product. So it's, it's mainly based on the Christian and the Gregorian calendar, not on the Chinese, not on the Islamic, not uh, on the Hindi calendar. And right now it's a bit tricky to, to import everything. So the idea is that you, <coughs> you should have, to build your calendar, you should have a, a precise description of all the days off since the beginning of your time series. So you must have that. And it's not a, a small thing to construct. It's uh, very difficult. And as we said at the beginning of the training last week, one probably one big task during the, before the next course, advanced course will be to try to figure, to, to build with some countries a calendar. We can use eventually the time and date calendar, but it's not precise enough. Okay. So, do you have any question? I know it was a bit uh, fuzzy. I would say a bit uh, difficult to follow. I guess, but uh, I tried it. It will be successful tomorrow. Okay. So tomorrow morning, I will explain a bit more uh, concretely how I, I built the Singapore calendar, this tentative uh, Singapore calendar. Tonight, I will try to build for one or two other countries. I don't know, Vietnam seems to have a very specific week for the Tate. So we could try to, to build the calendar for uh, for Vietnam, I, uh, I will use time and date for to do that. I will see what I can do. Now I saw I saw the error in my uh, in my program, so I can do it. So I'm a bit. Uh, if you have questions, I will be very very happy to to answer. Even if he, if you want to come back to some uh, previous notion we saw uh, in, in the previous day. Uh, I'm a bit tired now, so I'm not going to do any more uh, work because I feel that I'm uh, I feel asleep. To be <laughs> so, so if you have question, really, I can try to to answer. So, how do you feel, Leah? How do you feel? A bit dizzy, too fast? Yes, it's a lot of steps. To follow, so uh, yeah. After one <laughs> one try, and then I get lost again. I think it's better. I <laughs> I have to check the uh, Yahoo and uh, the sorry the YouTube mm -hmm. uh, to follow what oh. you did. Yeah. Okay. So what we are going to do? We are going to do it again tomorrow. Okay. And I perhaps. I should do it more slowly, sans doute, without a doubt. So you can, you can just follow. And I will try to use the Zoom, but it doesn't work on my computer. I, I tried to fix it. I didn't succeed. 
So it's bad. It's, so tomorrow I will try to be to to go slowly, and to do it again. Okay, because we still have something we didn't do. I guess it's uh, okay. quarterly quarterly trade data. Mm. But perhaps so, it's only me that could not follow you. No, I think <laughs> because the not. ASEAN member states is not. Uh, I think they very fast and then can follow. <laughs> what you did? I mean, I'm pretty sure, I don't know, people can say that, but I'm, you know, my experience is that when someone does not follow, it's likely that at least 20% of the people do not follow ever, okay? You, you are never alone in this kind of situation, but people are shy and usually do not dare to, uh, to say that. But I'm, I'm sure, I, I felt that I was too fast this morning. I will try to do it more slowly tomorrow, okay? And we will do it again. I will incorporate the calendar. You, we will see the results. And after we will come back to how I did the calendar and things like that, okay? Okay, thank you. <laughs> No, no, it's what I mean. It's my pleasure. Ah, yes. Yes, for me too, it's difficult to follow. Yeah, I'm sure. Thank you for saying that, to be honest. Yeah, thank you. So tomorrow I will try to be uh, more delicate. <laughs> I will. So perhaps we will stop today for that. I'm a bit tired. So if you have any question, please, uh, I'm not going to open a new subject or to redo an exercise, but if you have something in mind, just uh, feel free to ask. No, it's okay. <coughs> so I will say goodbye. See you tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. we stop a bit, we stop no. a bit earlier today. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye. See you. Bye, -bye. See you. Bye, -bye. bye to everyone.